rover needs to travel five eighths of a mile to reach its destination. It has already traveled three eighths of a mile. How much farther does the rover need to travel? So if you do a number line to see how far it has to travel, how far does it have to travel? Look back up at the question to see how far it has to All right, how far does the rover have to travel? Angelie. Five eighths of a mile. So if I look at my number line, it has to go this far. Okay. So it, the first direction is shade the model to show the total distance it has to go. So I'm going to go ahead and shade up to five eighths. Go ahead and do yours. The next one says then shade the model to show how much distance the rover has already traveled. Look back in your directions and find out, or in the problem, and find out how many, how much has it already traveled. Raise your hand when you can tell me. Okay, how far has it already traveled? Three. So how many boxes am I going to shade? Three. Three. Go ahead and do yours. All right, what is the difference on how much they still have to, it still has to travel? Avani. Two. Two. Two parts, right? Out of how many parts total? Two out of eight. And we can see that right here. It's this one and this one that it still has to travel. The function that we do, the function we use to find that is subtraction. Five eighths minus three eighths is two eighths. And just like when we're adding fractions and we add the numerator, if the denominator is the same, that means the size of the parts is the same, and then we can add the total number of parts, which is the numerator. Remember, we went over that yesterday. Subtraction is the same thing. As long as the denominator is the same, the size of the parts are the same, you can subtract the numerator. Do we subtract the denominator? No, no because then we'd end up with zero and we'd have two over zero, which is not, is not the same thing. So the rover needs to travel two-eighths of a mile still. Before you write all this down, I want you to also think about, explain how the model shows how much further the rover needs to travel. Use simple words to explain how this model showed us that that works. Go ahead and do that. There's only two spaces left. Okay, that works because there are only two spaces left from how much he needed, how much he's, how much he, how much the rover needs to move and how much it's already moved. Okay, Harish, what did you say? Here, can you, can you talk a little louder because I can't hear you. The model told us that we needed to go two more spaces to reach five-eighths. All right, that works too. He said the model shows us how the rover needed to go two more spaces to reach five-eighths. And that's great. It's a nice complete sentence too. All right, explain how you can use the model to find six-eighths minus two-eighths. So if we went back to this and we erased it, how could we use that to show... 6 eighths minus 2 eighths. Go ahead and write it and I'll have someone come up here and demonstrate it. So Jaden is going to show us how to do 6 eighths minus, what was it here, let's see. 6 eighths minus 2 eighths on the model. On the model, sweetie, up here. You can use two different colors too. So do 6 eighths on the top one. And then two eighths on the bottom. And then use the third color to show what's left. All right. How many are left? Raise your hand when you can tell me how many of those boxes are left. Arelli. And so what would that fraction look like? No, you just said four. Four eighths. Four, four eighths. Go ahead and write that right here. Six, that six eighths. That's fine, anywhere you want. There's good. Six eighths. Minus, what did we do, class? Two, two eighths. Two equals four eighths. There we go. Okay, so we can use the model to do different ones. Thank you. Sam ordered a small pizza, which was cut into six equal slices. Those are pretty big slices of pizza. 
He ate two six of the pizza and pus- put the rest away for later. How much of the pizza did he put away for later? I like how they showed this as one minus two sixths. Because we have one whole, all of a sudden you guys are gonna panic. Wait, I don't know how to do one minus two six because they don't have the same denominator, do they? So how can I fix that problem first of all so that I can do the subtraction? What would you do, Owen? And what made you decide to turn one into six six instead of seven sevenths or eight eighths? Right. He said what he said was the denominator in six six is the same as the denominator for two six, which is what we're subtracting. So might as well make it nice and friendly for yourself and make it easy to subtract because we have to have the same denominator to subtract. So we can change that whole. Remember we talked about this the other day. You can change the whole into whatever fraction you want it to be, whatever denominator you ha want it to be, but then if you whatever denominator denominator you pick, you have to pick the numerator has to be what? The same. The same, exactly. All right. So, how much pizza did he begin with? Six. Daniel. Six, six, six or one whole. One whole. How many slices did he eat? Um, how many slices are in the hole? Everybody? Six. And how many did he eat? Two. You can tell right there how many are going to be left, right? How many are going to be left? Four. Four, but it's got to be a fraction. So six. Six. four or six. You guys got this. We don't even have to go through it, but we're going to do it anyways. <laughs> One way to solve the problem, shade one hole. Okay, I'm going to shade one hole. Go ahead, shade one hole. He's starting with the whole pizza. Now it says to cross off. You guys don't have to make it solid shade. Now it says cross off how much he ate. How many did he eat? Two. Two. So I'm going to cross off those two. Remember they kind of do like the little circle like this to show the crossing off. How many six? size pieces are left, class? Oh, how many, class? Four. There you are. So he put, did he put four of the pizza away? No. How would I answer this part down here? So Sam put four sixths of the pizza away for later. Okay, another way to solve this. We can use the bar model. Showing the one hole and then splitting that one hole into six. What do you? Th it says how many one six pieces should we cross off? How many do we need to cross off, class? Two. two. How many did he eat? Two. two. So we're gonna cross off two. How many one six size pieces are left? Four. Four. So one whole minus two six equals four six. And the math talk, it says, explain why it makes sense to think of one whole as six six. We've already talked about that because Owen had explained why that makes sense. Use, use one that has the denominator that you want to, that's to, friendly to work with. Explain how the equation 6, 6 minus 2, 6 equals 4, 6 is related to the problem situation. So explain, here was our problem in the situation, right? Once, oh wait, hold on. Oh, that's not helping. 1 minus 2, 6. Explain how the equation 6, 6 minus 2, 6 equals 4, 6 is related to the problem. How does that help us solve the problem? Go ahead and do that in your own words. Who would like to share their definition? This is kind of a tricky one, but I'm looking for someone right. Ooh, Malia's being brave. Okay, Malia, why didn't you explain? All right, she said that it's related because you can take the one whole and change it to 6-6 six, six because you might as well change it to have the same denominator as the rest of the problem. Um, and, that's what she, and that's what we did in this case. 6-6 six, six minus 2-6 six equals 4-6. All right, number four, explain how you can find the unknown add-in in 2, 6 without using a model. 2, 6 plus something equals 1. 
How do you figure that out without using a model? Okay, wow, that was a great explanation. He said 6, 6, six, six is the same as 1. And so one, um, 6, 6 minus 2, 6 equals 4, 6 is what he said. So that means that 2, 6 plus 4, 6 equals 6, 6, which equals a whole. And that's how he explained it. That was a great explanation. Did you want to try a different one, Daniel? Okay, so she, what you're saying, but you missed one part of that that you have to change. Okay, or, or you, have, you don't have to change it, you just have to explain it. She said 2 plus 4 equals 6. How did you know you needed it to equal 6? Because that's what you actually put there, which is 1 whole. Okay, so how many parts are there total? 6. Right, that's why you know. Because there's 6 parts total. So in order to get a whole one, you know that 2 plus 4 equals 6. That would give you the whole pizza. Okay? So she's, she knows what she's thinking. She just didn't explain all the parts of it.